starting lineup after a long absence due to an anterior cruciate ligament injury. Journalist Nazar Kinsella provided this encouraging update on the London Is Blue podcast. It also highlights Chelsea's cautious approach to ensuring Broja's long-term well-being. Striker Broja, 22, earns £78,000 a week and has been absent from Chelsea's squad for almost a year. His latest appearance came shortly after he scored his debut goal for the club following a successful loan spell at Southampton. Unfortunately, his promising trajectory was hampered by the aforementioned injury. Broja is an important part of the coach's plans. Broja's imminent return is a significant boost for Chelsea, especially with Christopher Nkunku sidelined through injury. Faced with limited options in the attacking line, Chelsea had to rely on Nicholas Jackson, who is still adapting to the demands of the Premier League. League and has only managed to score once so far. Pochettino's plans for Armando Broja and Chelsea's title chances. Having Broja back in contention will give manager Mauricio Pochettino an additional number 9 option, offering valuable depth in the attacking department. While Chelsea may have ideally looked for a high-profile centre-forward during the summer transfer window, the fierce competition and rivalry with Tottenham Hotspur made such a move a challenging prospect. Pochettino must maximise the resources at his disposal and Broja's imminent return is a promising addition to the squad. It gives the manager greater flexibility and firepower in advanced positions. This addresses an important area of concern for the team. Chelsea fans are eagerly awaiting Broja's return and anticipating the impact he could make on the team's fortunes. Chelsea seeks success in national and European competitions. And now Chelsea fan I want to hear from you. What is your opinion about this? Put your opinion in the comments, I don't know if you know, but your opinion is very important for Chelsea at any moment I'll be back with more news from Chelsea.